what's going on guys it's your boy m cool gaming here and i'm back with another video yes 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 it took a while for me to do another one of these gaming history videos but i'm back i'm gonna i think i'm gonna call this um cool facts because you know my name's m cool gaming i'm giving you the facts about the gaming history so before we get into this video on atari Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer. Let's get it. The gaming company Atari was founded June 28, 1972 in Sunnyvale, California. It was founded by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney. Now let me tell you some more information about the two founders. The first founder I'm going to talk about is Nolan Bushnell. Nolan Bushnell was born February 5th, 1943 in Clearfield, Utah. As a kid, Nolan was really into building and inventing things. Now I had some trouble finding out the specific order of the colleges Nolan went to, but from my research, when he went to the University of Utah, he found an interest in computer graphics. Now I want to talk about the second founder of Atari. Ted Dabney. Ted Dabney was born May 15, 1937 in San Francisco, California. From my research, I found out that Ted Dabney after high school went to the United States Marine Corps. And during this time with the Marines, he would learn about electronics, which led to an interest in computer development. Now let's fast forward to the mid 1960s when Nolan and Ted were working with each other at this electronics company called Ampex. So when Nolan and Ted were working with each other, they will talk to each other about stuff. And Nolan specifically would talk to him about this pizza company that he wanted to start up, where kids can go play and eat pizza. Now, you guys probably know that the place I'm talking about was a Chuck E. Cheese, yes. One of the, the founder of Atari, well, one of the founders of Atari, he created Chuck E. Cheese, yes. I was surprised about this myself. After working with each other, they founded a small engineering company in 1971 called Sysigy Engineering. And they created the game Computer Space, which was the first arcade game ever. After this, Nolan and Ted decided to create Atari in 1972. If you guys watched my last video, about gaming history it was my first video I talked about Pong and you guys may have heard of this guy named Alan Alcorn guys you guys can check that video out it'll be at the top of the screen but Alan Alcorn was the first design engineer hired at Atari he created Pong now we are going to fast forward to the year 1977 on September 11 1977 when Atari released the Atari Video Computer System or Atari 2600. This system came out with two joystick controllers, paddle controllers, and a game cartridge of the game Combat. Now thinking about it, doesn't Combat look like the game Tank Trouble? Comment down below if you guys played Tank Trouble when you guys were in school. I, I used to play it in middle school. Yeah, anyways, when the Atari 2600 release it was $199 which is equivalent to about $878 in today's world after this Atari will go on to release more game consoles and even a home computer now I should have mentioned this earlier Nolan Bushnell did sell Atari to Warner communications for $28 million in 1976 from here on Atari will go on to release more consoles and more games. Nowadays Atari still makes games but they focus more on mobile games. The question is will Atari ever get as popular as it once was? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm gonna end the video right here. If I left out anything let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm gonna try my best to post every other day or even every day. But thank you guys for watching the video, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and please share this video with somebody. Let's grow this channel and get a thousand subscribers by the end of summer. Let's get it.